In Affinity Photo, you can invert an image very quickly. Simply select the layer, then go to Layer and Invert. And you can see you get a color inversion. But say you want a grayscale inversion. You can do that, of course, with adjustments. But you can also simply just go over here to Filters, down to Colors and Procedural Texture. It's a powerful filter that you can find right at the bottom of the Colors filters. So let's just select that. And with that, you can go over here and you get this basic panel. It doesn't look very much, but it's a million, million features all the way through this. To start it, go to the plus, just click there. And straight away now, you can see you've got zero for your red channel. That's what it means. You've got that red just highlighted there and zero. Well, you probably don't want that. You want minus R. So one minus R, and then you get a red inversion. You can also add channels as well, plus and plus for the green and the blue. And you can of course create something very similar, but say you want a grayscale inversion. So you can easily remove these, simply click here, click here. And with this, you can go one minus and then put bracket red or R plus G plus B, Bracket divided by three. And then you got that. But at the moment, it's only just for the red channel. What do you want it? You want it for the red, green, and blue. So green and blue. And now you've got that. You think, oh, actually, I want it to be slightly darker. Well, I can manipulate that further simply by just going here. I can say 1.5 times R. And you see it gets slightly darker. Maybe go for, say, four times. You might decide you want to reduce the blue a bit. Well, you can put 0 0.5 times and so on. You can just vary it in all kinds of ways. You, of course, can do that using the adjustments. But you can also do it very simply from this very powerful equation. Once you've done that, you can then click Apply. And there's a whole lot more about procedural textures in this video.